There are true solid state batteries and then there are solid state batteries that are just that. Researchers believe they have developed a supercapacitor that is strong enough to serve as a home's foundation or to withstand being run over by EVs while they are being charged. A new battery substitute derived from very simple elements has been proposed by MIT researchers. Cement blocks that have been impregnated with a carbon substance resembling soot may be able to store enough energy to run entire homes. According to the experts, the technology may be made commercially available in a few years, and a single 3.5-meter block could store 10 kWh of energy, enough to power a house for a day. According to a report written by MIT professors Franz Josephorn, Admir Mazik, and Yang Xiaohorn, as well as other researchers from MIT and the Wise Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering, similar capacitors incorporated into roads might charge cars wirelessly. The researchers discovered that cement blocks may be made into supercapacitors by adding carbon black, a type of the element present in incompletely burnt material, when the cement hardens. These supercapacitors can carry substantial electrical charges. With the help of isolated metal conductors, capacitors store electrical charge. The surface area of the conductive material determines how much energy they can store, and the researchers found that adding carbon black to wet cement was a very straightforward way to quickly create a significant surface area. As the water evaporates during the curing process, carbon black diffuses into the voids left by the water and fills them with its high conductivity. As a result, the eventual solid concrete block develops a network of minuscule, fractal-shaped microfibers that resemble tiny wires and support ever smaller branches. The material is then submerged in salt, such as potassium chloride, which serves as an electrolyte and provides the charged particles that build up on the carbon structures. An extremely effective supercapacitor is created by two of these electrodes joined together by a tiny gap or insulating layer. Mazik calls the substance fascinating since it combines carbon black, a well-known historical material that was used to write the Dead Sea Scrolls, with cement, the most widely used man-made substance in the world. When you combine these elements in a precise way to create a conductive nanocomposite, which is when things start to get really interesting, you have these materials that are at least two millennia old. As the mixture hardens, the carbon black is self-assembling into a connected conductive wire, the author claims. It is possible to manufacture cement capacitors anywhere in the globe, and the blocks can function with as little as 3% carbon black in the mixture. The energy shift could be aided by the blocks, since energy storage is required globally to balance renewable energy sources like solar and wind power, which cannot be produced simultaneously with demand. Ulm asserts that there is a critical need for large-scale energy storage, and that current batteries must be replaced since they are expensive and rely on elements like lithium, whose availability is constrained. Because cement is so common, that is an area where our technique is really promising. The team calculated that a 45 cubic meter material block of nanocarbon black doped concrete would have enough capacity to store about 10 kilowatt hour of energy which is believed to be the average daily electricity usage for a household, so remote off-grid homes with batteries in the foundations could operate using windmills or solar panels. In data centers, it may be possible to have UPS batteries that are built into the building itself. If stronger capacitors are needed, they can be produced with a lower carbon black concentration at the price of some structural integrity. This might be advantageous in situations where the entire strength of the concrete is not required or when the concrete is not serving a structural purpose. The sweet spot is set to be roughly 10% carbon black in the mix for applications like foundations or structural components of a wind turbine's base. Supercapacitors that were 1 cm broad and 1 mm thick, roughly the size of a button cell battery, were used as a proof of concept by the team at first. Three of these were charged to 1 volt and used to power a 3 volt light emitting diode LED. The next phase is to create blocks the size of a common 12 volt vehicle battery, then go to a 45 cubic meter version to show its capacity to store a house's worth of power. 
Likewise, cement capacitors might be included into concrete roads, where they could store energy generated by solar panels adjacent to the road and transmit it wirelessly to charge vehicles that were traveling down the road. In Germany and other countries, wireless automobile charging is used. As the energy storage capacity is a direct function of the electrode volume, Orm claims that the technology is particularly scalable. According to him, you can basically scale the energy storage capacity from lighting an LED for a few seconds to powering a whole house by switching from 1mm thick electrodes to ones that are 1m thick. On top of that, depending on the combination used, it can be adjusted to charge more quickly or more slowly. More emissions are created by the aircraft industry than by concrete, which accounts for 8% of global emissions in the construction sector. According to Ulm, using concrete as a form of energy storage might make it part of the energy transition. Versions of this technology that operate on batteries are currently undergoing testing around Europe. The component in fascinating composite is carbon black, when two electrically conductive plates are placed between them, a supercapacitor stores electrical energy between them. Compared to batteries, they can deliver a charge far more quickly, but most of them do not provide as much energy storage. The combined surface area of the two plates which are separated by a thin insulating layer determines the amount of energy they can store. The version created here has an extraordinarily large interior surface area, which considerably increases its efficiency. This is a result of the chemical composition of the substance created when carbon black is added to a concrete mixture and allowed to cure. The subject matter is fascinating, according to MIT professor Admir Mazik. A linked conductive wire is being formed by the carbon black on its own. Mazik claims that only 3% of carbon black is actually required. The supercapacitor's storage capacity increases with the amount applied. However, this also lessens the concrete structural strength, which could be an issue in load-bearing applications. The scientists proposed that the composite material might also be used in a heating system. A future issue of the science journal PNAS is scheduled to publish a complete report on their findings. James Weaver from the Wise Institute, Nicholas Janet and Damien Stefaniuk from the MIT Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, and Young Wangju from the MIT Department of Mechanical Engineering were also members of the study team. The work was sponsored by the Concrete Advancement Foundation and supported by the MIT Concrete Sustainability Hub. The sand battery of Polonite Energy, which is now providing power to about 10,000 people in the Finnish town of Kanka Anpa, is one other effort to develop substantial, reasonably priced energy storage devices. Having said that, what do you think of this type of storage system? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.